Look so pretty with no makeup on You should hear her talking to her mama on the phone I love it when she raps to an Eminem song <laughs> That's my girl Man, her eyes really drive me crazy What's up, you people? Hi, how you doing? It's me. It's your girl, Ida. I'm back with a bat. <laughs> I need to chill. Um, uh, how you doing? I hope you're good. I'm good. I just, you know, I was trying to look cute, so I did my hair. And I am about to make a quick video. Get ready with me. I'm not going to waste time. I'm going to do my eyebrows, because that's how I begin. I uh, usually, like, um... Um, if you see me looking over here, that's where my mirror is, so <laughs> forgive me. I usually underline my eyebrows with the eye pencil. I prefer b brown to black because it's not so dark. And um, makes my eyebrow look a little bit more natural. You get, get it? I said a little bit more natural because I drew on it. So it's not going to look 100% natural, but I am trying to make it look natural. So I use a brown eyebrow pencil. And then I use my pomade to shade it in. Here we go. So I do half. Can you see? I don't usually like start from up here. Because again, I try to blend it so it looks natural. So I'm going to start from up here and just spread it. And then we shall stroke up. Light strokes. I have so many jokes, but light strokes, okay? And then we'll use a spoolie to just brush and make the front look so natural, you know? Like this. And brush the rest of your brow and we're pretty much done I'm gonna get my concealer show you how I clean up under my brow and yep all right so I already started cleaning um, my under brow and I use my concealer from over here I go up I also pull the concealer down because I'm gonna be using it as a base for my eyeshadow so yeah I just I'll show you real quick. So yeah, that's how it looks after you clean your underbrow. It's gonna look better as the process goes by. I'm gonna blend it in. This is not the brush that I typically use. Um, I lost my brush, so I'm struggling here, but I'm going to use this to just blend it. I can't find it. I don't know where my other brush is, so there we go. We're just going to use this. And anyway, I usually tell people it's not about the product. It's not about the brush. It's about your technique. If you learn your craft, you're going to be able to do with whatever, even your fingers. I don't know how you're going to do with your finger under your brow, but... Trust you me, anything is possible, so. So yeah, so that's basically it. I'm gonna say it's about a minute since I put on the concealer under my brow and I usually let it stay just that long since um, I want it to dry a little bit more so it's not too wet and runny. But yeah, I'm gonna do that and then because I still want the under brow to look light and to pop, I will use a light a shadow i don't know if you can see this this here and i'm gonna go in here it's basically the same can you even see it's basically the same color as my concealer ish oh yes girl yes can you see the difference that's how it looks. This is with eyeshadow. And this is without. With eyeshadow. Without. 
this color is more of a brown some people would call it tan but depends on how it shows on your skin to me it's kind of like a brown and we're gonna do this on both eyes so here we go see the difference Now our next step, we're gonna go in under here. We're gonna make it like a smoky eye, not really a smoky eye, but I like the effect that a smoky eye brings. So we're gonna go in with this dark, dark purple. Can you see it? Yes. Gonna go in here. Guys, we did a thing, y'all. We did a thing, look at this. I can't even dab, I can't hit the folks. Man, these dances are past way my uh way above my age, I guess. No, below my age. What am I talking about? Anyway, so we're gonna go back with our concealer. I'm gonna do this because I want to put a lighter shade here. And after this will be done, I promise you. This is not such a long video, I just you know, uh, huh, hold on, I need to be quiet so I can, um, you know, not mess it up. Here we go. Guys, 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 this yellow is from heaven. Oh, hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> look at this. Hold on. Just look at this. I'm supposed to put this over, not like a cut crease, but like over it. Like this. Ooh la la. <gasps> Guys. Seriously. If you know what I'm using, I'm going to show you just now. This is drug store makeup. This I bought from oh, actually no I bought from the beauty supply store this the top broke but man the yellow mm -mm -mm. you guys man you gotta give it to this um cheap brand makeup this was from I guess I don't know Ruby Kisses or something mm -mm -mm. is a look well first of all I done messed up over here but we're gonna fix it So now you want to take the same brush you used to create this, um, the smoky eye look. You want to use that brush to blend that corner so that the yellow and um, the dark purple look like they're friends, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, something close to that. Like, you don't want harsh lines to show where your yellow ended and where your dark purple you know ended no we don't want to do that so you're gonna do that at the same i mean yeah the same place where the yellow and the dark purple meet on this other eye we're gonna blend it out too we're pretty much done like we did this guys <laughs> we did. did my eyeliner because i could never do that on camera because it's so complicated. There are YouTubers out here that are able to do that on camera, but unfortunately, I am not one of them. I'm just gonna try and clean up and now put some foundation on my face. I'm using a brush because I don't wanna mess up my eyes and my eyeliner, you know? It took a long time, but yeah. 
I'm gonna do that. Uh, and this is a get ready video with me. I don't do a lot, as you will probably learn by the end of this video. Uh, as soon as I do my foundation, I put a little powder. I can put, um, I can put some highlight and blush, and that'll be it. I don't bake. Not an, uh, on an everyday basis, I'm going to be honest. If I'm going for a photo shoot, it's different. If I am going to be... Hold on, let's not mess this wing eyeliner. Okay. If I'm going to be at an event, maybe I will. But if I'm just going to be running errands or going out with my friends or going to work, I don't do all this when I'm going to work. I'm, I'm, I'm going to just be honest with you, but yeah. You know, I look like this when I'm going out or when I'm going to meet um, my friends for brunch or whatever, or girls night out or whatever. Um, but no, not on an everyday basis that you'll find me looking like this. Or, yeah, sometimes I look raggedy AF. But you already know if you follow me on Instagram. Speaking of which, I'm going to link my Instagram here or here. Somewhere here. Here. Where is it? Here. I don't know where, but it's going to be on there. Um, yeah, so you can follow me and see me and request videos that you want to see for the, um, you know, for the next one. Tell me what you want to talk about. We could do a question and answer session. And yeah, let's see. All right, so one last step that I know a lot of people do way, way, way earlier. I do it now because I don't want my foundation to dry is I clean up my eyebrow at the top here using foundation why one because i don't want to have the halo looking line on top of my eyebrow looking light because my concealer is lighter than my actual skin shade so i don't want to do you know um concealer on top of my eyebrow and yeah if you have blending problems that should be a little hack you're welcome that you know if i do this i'm gonna do this side so if i do this it's easier for me to blend you know I don't have problems blending but you know it just helps me and it's so so much easier and if you do have problems blending this is probably gonna work for you too so here we go we're just gonna blend um some foundation here See, plus I use my plate. <laughs> Can I speak? I use my face as a cleaning chat. I always do this. If I feel like I have excess on my brush, I always do that. And then I'll go back in there and blend it some more. This eyebrow is so obedient. It's like two children. One so disobedient, they think they know, but this one's so humble. I love her. She's just so nice, so easy to deal with. I love her. So every girl has that one thing she can't do without. And for me, it's this. I can't do without my, we used to call it eye pencil in Kenya. Some people here call it eyeliner. I feel like this is eyeliner, but oh well, you know, whatever, you know, makes you sleep at night. But this to me is very important and I love it. And I always make this face when I'm about to draw it. <laughs> Pretty sure everybody, you can relate, stop laughing this way. So I always do this and then draw it on. I'm trying to gonna look, I'm gonna try and look normal because I can't even speak. I'm gonna try and look normal. Okay, hold on. Yeah, man, look at the difference. This eye looks okay, it's good, but this eye looks woke, you know? Just because of that little dark line under there, like, look at that. Oh, I love it. I love this 
brush I love this brush it's absolutely amazing it's my favorite in all my powder brushes it's the one I use the most all right so there we go and uh, it's a look oh remember those walls of field oh, baby they're tumbling down they didn't even put up a fight they didn't even make the sound it's like i've been awakened every rule i had to break in it's the risk that i'm taking i am never gonna shut you up a look we are done i am done you guys can do whatever to add on this look but yeah this was a get ready with me this is what i pretty much do and yeah that's every day i'm lying that's not every day that's every other day whenever i'm going out like i said but that's it we are done i love it i think it looks cute i hope you think so too and like i said connect with me on my instagram on my snapchat and let me know what videos you want to see next yep. otherwise you guys have a good day and don't forget to sub